The Romans came to Britain in 43 CE and built the fort of Isca Augusta at Caleon about 30 years later. The amphitheatre was added just outside the fortress walls in 90 CE, 10 years after the Colosseum in Rome was completed. The amphitheatre at Caleon accommodated 6,000 spectators and was used for training, festivals and gladiator fights like in the film Gladiator. The top half is more recently thought to have been made of wood and may have looked like this. The Roman presence at Caleon began to decline around 300 CE and by 410, Britain was left to defend itself and the buildings decayed. Geoffrey of Monmouth chronicled the kings of Britain around the year 1130 and linked King Arthur to the amphitheatre. This rumour persisted and in 1405, French mercenaries fighting for Owen Glyndeur took a detour to see the mythical ruins. The site had just become an oval mound before archaeological exploration began in 1908 and by 1926 cash was needed to buy land to stop houses being built over the remains at Caleon. A guy called Mortimer Wheeler who was director of the National Museum of Wales persuaded the Daily Mail newspaper who love a wacky headline to part with some cash by telling them that he had discovered the site of King Arthur's round table. They stumped up £3,000 in total for the exclusive. Newspapers at the time reflected the public's fascination with archaeological discoveries like Tutankhamun's tomb discovered in 1922 which had a similar exclusive deal with the Times. Coal miners were enlisted to dig out the vast quantities of soil that have piled up over the past 1500 years or so. Caleon is the best example of the 10 known Roman amphitheatres in Britain and the only one completely excavated and saved thanks to a white lie about a table and a guy called Arthur who may or may not have existed.